Hey, what's up, friends? Moses here from Driver Success. I hope and pray that you guys are doing well. First thing, if you are a truck driver and you are interested, you are interested in working with JB Hunt, I encourage you to send me your information. Just send me your name, uh, your phone number, and your zip code. You can text them to me at 877-667-3750. Best way to remember that phone number is 877-MOSES50. Uh, or you can email me moses at driversuccess.com uh, and in the description the very first link that i have in the description can also take you to my website which is driversuccess.com there is a form that you will fill out and that information will come to me when your information comes to me i reach out to one of the recruiters that i personally work with uh, give them your information and then they're gonna give you a call to see uh, what position uh, suits your needs. Uh, th uh, the reason why I, I prefer to work with certain recruiters is because I know sometimes something may come up and you want to know what's happening with your application. Maybe you're not hearing from a uh, JB Hunt. Uh, it's easier for me to follow up. In the past, I, uh, I usually have you know, like drivers who go straight to JB Hunt and then they, are, they contact me later on asking me about the application. And I really can't know because I don't know who, uh, which recruiter you worked with. So it's very hard for me to, f to follow up with your application. But um, whether you decide to go through me or you go straight to JB Hunt, you can let them know that uh, I referred you. My alpha code is K-A-N-M-H. Just give them that alpha code. Uh, we are hiring experienced and those that are not experienced or those that are right out of tracking school. We started a tracking um, training program, which is six weeks long. So if you're just out of tracking school and you want to be part of JB Hunt, uh, the training program is six weeks long. Other than that, uh, most of the positions that are not entry level will require at least three months experience. Uh, for you to get on. We do have intermodal, local, dedicated. It just depends on the area that you are living in. But let's get into this video and i show you something that hopefully will be a benefit to some of you that are just starting out as truck drivers. This uh, that you see on the screen is a customer that we go to. Uh, every now and then I will go to this customer. Uh, I think this this particular, um, what I'm going to show you uh, was the first time that I had a door uh, that was kind of different. But what we have here is right here, this road right here, uh, I think this is called Miyakam. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name right, but this is Miyakam. So when you come in to this customer, you come in from this side, get into the entrance right here, there is... Um, like the guard shark, they take your information most of the time. So you come down here, make this turn. Most of the time, this is where we go. Uh, so right here is easy because there's enough space. So we park here, go into the office. They let us know which door we are going to park into. And then we just kind of, you just kind of make a turn or you just back in from here, get into one of these doors. Now, sometimes they will give you a door that is somewhere here right so uh, i've uh, most of the time i come here and i think once they gave me this door right here so when i came in it was an easy one because you come in again from this side you come in like this and then you back in there were no trailers it was just like that but this time that i went they gave me this door that is on this side as you can see this trailer so what you have to do in that case you have to come all the way get this side make a u-turn and then come back so that you can back in right here and and so when i was coming back when when i came back to back in here right here they had some trailers i think i don't remember uh we are gonna look at the video i don't i don't remember if it was one or two trailers right here right and then on this side they also had some trailers here the dock was empty but they had trailers here and they had a trailer here so in other words i had to come from this side get here and then go in here so the video that i'm going to show you that is the scenario that i'm going to show you and i just want to show you uh, some of the um, mistakes that you want to avoid 
Okay, so right now I just made the U-turn that I told you about and I'm coming in. So as you can see, they have a trailer right here, this Walmart trailer right here, and then another Walmart trailer. So I need to back up on the other side, right? I want you to watch how I'm going to set this up and I'm going to show you one of the mistakes that a new driver could make that I want you to avoid making. So you see how I'm setting up? So I'm done setting up. Now I'm backing up. All I'm doing is I'm taking it slow. And if you, you watch, uh, I want you to watch down here how, how those, uh, how I, I keep on like making small adjustments. Sorry about that. I'm, I keep on making small adjustments. If you look at my, my drives and you see how my truck is moving, you'll see that I'm slowly making adjustments based on where my, my trailer tires are i just keep on making slow adjustments and as you can see right here you can see the space it starts small and then it starts opening up but i just wanted you to see how uh, i set up for this because what i want to talk about is the setting up how you set up for this and how to avoid the mistake that a new truck driver could have made so let's get uh, to the table and I show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so what I want to show you is really something that I want you to avoid. This video is not about backing per se. It's just about showing you some of the things that are, could be easy for you to get yourself into that could be just a trap. Now, as you see me um, uh, come in, I, when I come in, into in, into that parking space what i do is i come in close to this walmart trailer so we are assuming this is the walmart trailer this is the walmart trailer that is the wall and of course there is a wall on that side right so what you see me do is i come in close to this walmart trailer when i get in i get in and then i swing out again by doing that what i'm doing is i'm causing my trailer to face into the hole so i swing out and I set it up like that, right? So what this does, it's, it gives me an opportunity for me, again, remember, I always say that as much as possible, always keep this as your, uh, as the place that you are always watching. So when I set up, I'm setting up to make sure that my on my driver's side, I can see where I'm going. So when I set up like that, I'm looking to see where this Walmart trailer is because I'm going to come in close like this while remembering, remember there's a wall here and this place is kind of tight. So I don't want this trailer to go so much that side. That's why you see when I'm coming in in that video that you saw earlier on, I come in as close as possible to this trailer because what I'm trying to do is to avoid this part of the, uh, of the trailer to go that side. And remember even the doors are open, right? So I want as much as possible my end of the trailer to come in as close as possible here because I'm slowly coming in while I'm, I'm making the turn to bring that in close so I can back up without scrapping anything on this side. Now the mistake that I want you to avoid the whole point of this um, uh, video is as a new uh, truck driver the temptation is because you look at this space where you had this dock and there's no trailer you you see you, you look at the dock and you're like oh i can pull in there and just back up straight right because when you look at it it looks like you have enough space remember there's a trailer here so you are thinking let me go in here and go straight in here and back up now that would be a good idea if uh, if you had enough space all the way this side but remember this is a dock that means that you have your space is limited so when you come in and you are thinking of that one of the things you want to remember that is that these trailers the truck trailers they are long they are sometimes longer than you think and so if you make that uh, that mistake of of coming in from here like I came in and you go in there hoping that you're gonna pull up straight you may get to a place where you realize you are in there but your trailer is still not in the hole 
but you have maximized all the space here. You are all the way to the dock and your trailer is still outside because you see, when you came in, your trailer was not yet straight. So you come in and you're like that. And now the end, the back end of your trailer is not in the hole. Now you, you, your truck is all the way in. You can't see anything because there's a Walmart trailer at this side. There is a, uh, the wall is that side. Now you are trapped in. Those are mistakes that I see new drivers uh, do. And I will be honest with you, not just new drivers, even experienced drivers. If you, you misjudge your space, it's easy to get yourself into that situation. And if you are a new driver, this situation can be a challenging one if you don't know how to get out safely because now you have trapped yourself in there and in your mind you start panicking you you want to make this trailer uh, straight to go in there you will start making pull-ups and pulling out and getting back and pulling up and you'll end up making it even worse than it should so the whole point of this video again i just want to say that don't be um trapped into thinking that something looks easier or you are looking for an easier way out because such situations are what will cause you to get in uh, into like uh, incidents where you may end up now scratching your trailer or hitting something just because you blocked yourself in where you are not seeing now both ends of your trailer you don't have uh, a, a good vision on this side that you should have good vision in just because you thought this trailer was not as long as it is and so you are trapped in that situation so avoid those situations if you think you are going to be caught up in a situation where you won't have good visibility of your trailer don't enter into that situation so just like i did the best part the best way to get into this hole is go in there and then get out because when you get out as you can see when I turn this side, my trailer goes that side. I have visibility on this side. I can be able to back in. This is a better situation than trying to trap yourself into that situation. Because by the time you finish uh, in, in this situation, chances are your trailer will not be straight. You won't be straight into the hole just because of the limited uh uh, space that you had now if you had good space there was nothing there yes that would be uh, the best thing to do go in there uh, kind of make a, a good supper time and stay uh, make your, your trailer straight and go in but the whole point that I wanted to make with this video is that be careful when you are looking at spaces these trailers they are longer than sometimes we think so don't get into you know like unnecessary blind spots just because you thought it was an easier way. All right, friends, until next time, stay blessed and stay safe. Bye-bye.